What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here. And welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are at home to Galston in the Ismin League North Division. I am buzzing for the big game for Whitton Town against Galston. I'm really excited. And we're currently 12th in the league and Galston are currently 11th in the league. But a Whitton Town win will put us into 11th in the league. And which we're hoping to get a Whitton Town win. But I am really confident that Whitton Town will get a win against Galston. And last season's home game against Galston was in Whitton Town's 3-0 win against Galston. But, but we didn't have a good record away at Galston last season in the 4-1 defeat. And this season, the 4-0 defeat away at Galston. Can Whitton Town put on a revenge against Galston at home this afternoon by getting the win against Galston at home? But it will be a very tricky game against Galston because they are a very good footballing side of Galston and they're doing well in the Isthmian League North Division as well. If we play like we did away at New Salamis and that fantastic 2-1 win away at New Salamis and I believe we'll make two wins on the spin for Whitton Town against Galston and by getting two wins on the spin. As long as the Whitton Town players turn up like we did last Saturday with a fantastic first half performance. But I know like Rick and I said in the previous full-time thoughts, we let New Salamis back in the game in the second half. But the first half, it was the best ever football we've seen for a long, long time. And if we play like we did in the first half away at New Salamis, we should get another win against Gorson this afternoon. And now I'm about to my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Galston very shortly. I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Galston in the Ismin League North Division. I'm really excited for the huge game against Galston and I am really confident that Whitton Town can make it two wins on the spin, but it won't be easy. But as long as we turn up like we did last week in the first half, we should get two wins on the spin. And, and hopefully we'll continue the Fortress Hope support because the Whitton Town players and the staff and our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, would really appreciate the fantastic Whitton Town home support as always because the players love it as well. And I'm really excited for the huge game against Galston. And, and like I said earlier, a Whitton Town win will put us into 11th in the league above Galston. And I believe we can do it to get another win for Whitton Town. And, and for our Whitton Town supporters and myself, we'll get behind our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, as always because Gary Kimball, our Whitton Town manager, would really appreciate the fantastic Whitton Town home support. And, and we're gonna keep the support going because Gary and his players would really love the support as always. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the big game. And we've got our singing voices all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. I'm currently now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club for Breakfast Club and I'm having the usual full English breakfast. And now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast to fill me boots already for the Whitton Town home support against Galston. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club before the Whitton Town home match against Galston and fill me boots already for the Whitton Town home support and I'm just waiting for my mates the fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to get ready to do the pre-match forts, half-time forts and full-time forts as always and let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter Leon. Hello James. 
good thank you. It's going to be a big game against Galston because um, cause like Galston are currently 11th and we're 12th in the league. And if we win against Galston, not if, when we win against Galston, we'll climb up to 11th in the league. So I'm confident we get two wins on the spin as long as we turn up like we did away at New Salamis last Saturday. Yeah, the players have got to turn up. Mm. If we want to keep Gary in this club as the club manager, what we what the players need to do is mm. they need to talk to each other. Liam, Liam, mm. as he's the captain of this team, what he needs to do is bark at his defenders mm. and his wingers. Yeah, that's just what we like to see. Like especially in the first half, we were outstanding in the first half, and Liam did absolutely outstanding at left back in the first half and we look like a different team than in the previous matches and like if we keep to the same tactics and formation like we did in the first half last Saturday and we should be all right with another win against Galston. Yeah definitely. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction Leon? Well I'm gonna have to go 2-0 Whitton Town. Superb. I'm I'm going to be positive as always in the pre-match thoughts. I'm going 2-0 Whitton Town as well. Decent. Thank you so much for your time, Leon, and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Rick and Laura. Hi, James. Hi, James. Good, thank you. This will be a big game against Galston, but if we turn up like we did last week, especially that brilliant first half performance, and then... But like you said, Rick, in the previous full-time force, we let them back in in the game second half, but we managed to hold on to the victory. But this afternoon will be, will be a bigger test for us, but as long as we turn up against Galston. Because we stopped playing football in the second half, like we did first half. Mm. We went back to our old old ways again of woofing it and just booting it anywhere. Mm. But first off, you know, I mean, Gary Kimball wrote something on uh, Facebook. Well, yeah. the Whitton Town put it on, on Facebook, or didn't they? Whoever, yeah. And he said it was one of the best first half performances. And I agree with him. And I totally mm. agree with him. We totally do agree. I with agree one of us. We played some good football. We played nice, no, nice. Yeah, but we played football. Exactly, football. Little little stuff. Little it. stuff. No. All the time, you know, and keep playing it on the exactly, deck in yeah. the like in the first half. But then again, you look, they only scored through our wall jumping up and down, didn't they? Our wall jumped up and they just went straight underneath the wall. And otherwise, I don't think they'd have scored actually, to be quite honest with you. I know mm. they were putting a lot of pressure on us, but you know, we've got three points out at the end of the day. Yeah, the main main thing is exactly. we got the three points in yep. the bag last week, but we've got to get the job done against Galston if we want to make it two wins on the spin. But it is going to be a bigger test this afternoon, but as long as we keep to the same like we did in the first half, and we should be all right this afternoon. Do you think, you think we've got, obviously we signed a new forward yesterday. They got that over the line, that's good. So hopefully he's in the squad. Uh, obviously we signed a new player last week who was poorly, I understand. So hopefully he might be in the squad today. Do you know what I mean? We've got, so we've two, got new a faces. two new faces. For, two new faces in the you team. Know, we've, yeah. we've got a, you know, we're at home. We haven't got many home games left now. This is our, we've got six left. Six left, so, I think. You know, we've got to make at home count because 100%. you know we are. You know, it's it's so easy to play away, isn't it? Yeah. You know, but this is this should be at home for us, and this should be natural. Mm. And you know, we've got to put a, a good show on for the crowd today, haven't we? So when you um, look at the three games that we played on the what do you call it? Three G pitches. I think we played quite well actually. I, mean, you look I at think we at, might do a whip around and see if we can buy one. <laughs> <We'll do that laughs> again. You look at the one at Bowers and Pitsy, for instance. We didn't get outplayed. I know we lost, was it 2 0? 2 0. Yeah. We didn't get outplayed. You got, look, look at the game at Haybridge. We won at Haybridge. It suited we? us, didn't it? It did. I don't know why. There's something that's. I don't know. And we played well like first half. And it was a good game last week. You know, maybe it might be the, the grass is slower or the 3 g pitch is faster. And it's, I don't know, but we did play better. Yeah, the, the first half we were superb away yeah. at New Salamis, and then, like we said, it really suited us really, really well. But, but like you said, we let them back in, in the game second yeah, half, and, yeah. and but we managed to hold on to the victory. But it is a very nervy ending, and our hearts were raising. They certainly were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like even being two one up isn't quite enough. No, and we no, need to make no. sure we get another goal. To... You need to be two goals clear, don't you? Exactly. To be yeah. Especially when you're going into the last few minutes of the game, anything could have happened, couldn't it? 
So it was very, um, it, we were very nervy, weren't we, James? <laughs> it was really nervy and, then, and our hearts were beating so fast. And then, because and, sometimes like even opposition teams never give up. And, but we were so relieved <laughs> we got the victory. Yeah. And it was quite a celebration at the end like, last week when we, when we managed to hold them to get the victory. But they were never going to give up, were they? Mm. They would just kept fighting and fighting and fighting, you know. And, and they made two changes at half time, didn't they, as well? They took Marcus Rashford, Rashford off, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they took, Mar took Marcus Rashford <laughs> off, yeah. Yeah, put some other, guy, some other guy on. But yeah, I think the two changes they made made a lot of difference. But, you know, we got three points at the end of the day and that's, well, that's got, what it's all about. Yeah, we need three points One today. Cent. We've got a yeah. cup game Tuesday night. Yep. Yeah. Away at Stanway Road yeah. in the Tolson Darcy Cup game. Then we're Stone Market next week, which we'll be, we'll be heading along to, so... You know, it's we've got an exciting few games ahead, haven't we? But obviously, we've got, we've got, we've got to make the three most, points today. We've got to make the most for home games as well. Even though, I agree. We, even though when we go away, we don't play bad. I don't think we do, but we, you know, and the silly the games that we've lost. Yeah, but we seem to play we, well against the top clubs. Exactly, yeah. Don't we? That's yeah. you know the top ten clubs or the yeah. top six clubs. We seem to play really well against. So you know, it will be a test today. I think it's going to be yeah. a, a yeah. very hard test. They're today. only above us by a point, aren't they? Yeah, because we're. Not if, when we win against Galston, yes, we'll, we'll go up to, um, we'll climb up to 11th yeah, when exactly, we win. Yeah. Because like, we go one point above Other. Galston when, when yeah. we win this afternoon. And I love the positive thinking there. Definitely, when we yeah. Win. Yeah, that Callum, when we win. <laughs> <laughs> when we win, not if we win, when we win. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but we, we're currently 12th in the league yeah. at the moment, but when we win against Galston, we go a point above Galston into 11th in the league, and um, and we've got to get behind Gary Kimball 100%, and, um, and, and hopefully get the victory against Galston as long as we turn up. Yeah, so we yeah, are exactly. We've just it? got to play, play football ball. like we did first half. No, we, you know, we, no, one can no one can touch us then. I mean, mm. they, didn't, they didn't really, not being honest, but they didn't know what, what on earth had happened to them, did they, first half? Two goals two, down two, two, in two, what? How many minutes was it? Seven minutes, seven was minutes, it? Eight seven minutes? Like ten minutes, something like that. Seven yeah. minutes, yeah. I think. Yeah. We were like, we were on fire. We didn't know what was happening either, to be honest, no, exactly. did we? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, let's, con good. let's continue the good form and let's have a good result today. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Rick? I'm going to go 2-0 today, like last week. Ooh. I'll be quite happy with that. And what's your score prediction, Laura? I'm going for 3-1, Whittam. Wow, brilliant. <laughs> I am going to be positive as always in the previous pre-match thoughts. I'm going 2-0 Whittam Town. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, no, I'm sticking with my friend. You know what? I got a score prediction right last week, didn't I? Yeah, last week. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you, you got your prediction right. <laughs> and 2 1 Whitton Town. Yeah. And got your prediction right. And and hope we get our score predictions right, right again. again today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as one of us is right, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> no, we get three points. That's what we want. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. As the most important thing is as long as we win this afternoon yep. and climb up to 11th. Yeah. And and we should be hopefully be on the roll. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Cheers, thank, James. Thank you guys so much for Come your time. The and up the town. Up, up, up the town. I'm now with the. Another main fellow Whitsun Town supporters, Callum and Paul. Hello, mate. Hi, James. Good, thank you. This is a big game against Galston this afternoon. It'll be a bigger test this afternoon, but I know we won last week away at New Salamis. We had an outstanding first half, but, but like Rick said, we let them back in the game in the second half. But if we keep to the same like we did in the first half last week and hopefully get two wins on the spin. Yeah, I just first of all, I want to say uh, good luck to Jeff at Molden. Obviously, he died. it was fantastic for us. Yeah, Arnold good. as well at um, Basildon, Gaz at Enfield. And obviously, welcome the new, the three new players you've got. Harry Fairs, uh, Yassir, Nazor, and I Chris so, yeah. Otty as well. So hopefully, they can do as well as the last players did for us. But no, I think today's game is going to be tough. But I think we... Hope this is we need. I think we need to win this game. We won last week. Mm. We need to make get a second win in a row because we've struggled to do that. When we win one game, we'll follow up with a bad game. So I think we just need to win today. One hundred percent because it happened during this season. Like after we won one nil away at Haybridge and they went into a downhill again, and then home against Haybridge won three nil and it went downhill again. And just like you said, Callum, that if we don't win today's game, we'll be back to square one. 
yeah, hopefully we'll get a bit of momentum now, won't we? Get a decent performance and a, and a good result. So they beat us 4 0, I think, when we went away there, didn't they? Mm. I saw your vlog, James, from last week. It looked like a really good first half performance. So that's we were super first half. Yeah, two goals in eight minutes. I was dreaming there when I was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, so, and, and especially on Callum's birthday last yeah, week, yeah, so we, yeah, we got, we got the win for your birthday. <laughs> Shame I wasn't there to see it though, but yeah, no, it was good. Good to get a win, but I think it's only happened once this season that we've actually won two on the trot, and that was a four-game winning streak over November and December, so we haven't done it at all since. So we just need to be consistent because we've definitely got the players there and the squad is there to be able to compete. We've beaten Haybridge, we've beaten Felix, though, we've beaten the top team. So if we can beat the teams around us, then we'll, we'll have no no trouble. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like if we turn up this afternoon and keep to the same like we did away at New Salamis, because because it'll be a different test against Galston. But it'll be a bigger test for us. And like we want to get two wins on the spin, and we're buzzing for the game, and and got our voices all ready to get behind the players and the manager Gary Kimball and the staff. And and hopefully get two wins on the on the spin. I hope so. I mean they're a good side goals, aren't they? But we've got good home support. We know we're going to get behind the team. It's a good chance for some of the new players as well to show us what they can do. So mm. yeah, I'll be confident. I think that we've got a good side, like Callum said. Uh, we've got a good team here. So uh, on a day we can beat anybody. Yeah, we can beat anybody in the league as long as we keep to the same like tactic formation like we did first half away at New Salamis because like we say it was the best football we've seen for a long time in the first half but but the second half we let them back in the game but um but i'm confident we can do it as long as we turn up and um and we've got several more home games left this season and and we've got the trip to the forward to next saturday and stone market yeah. yeah stone market away and that should be a really good trip next week well, and yeah i'll be there for it yeah, we're looking forward to that as well, and we've got to focus on this afternoon and hopefully get all three points. Yeah, we've got to look at getting three points. You know, we, we're, we're at home, they've travelled all the way like from Yarmouth, so, what, an hour and a half, two hour trip. So we should be looking and thinking we could win this game. And then that'll be two wins on the spin. Then we've got Stanway on Tuesday night. You know, we'd be looking at winning that. Hopefully, we can start building, get a bit of momentum together and start building a run. Yeah, 100%. And we made a trip all the way up to Great Yarmouth, didn't we, Callum, up on the train, didn't we? And we had a way on the, yeah, the coast, I remember the coast that. didn't we? It was a really good trip that day. Despite the result, it was an enjoyable day out. It was a really enjoyable day out. And we was like unhappy with a 4 0 defeat. But the most important thing is we enjoyed the trip. And it's been like amazing. Like, got the train to Norwich, replacement coach to Great Yarmouth, stop for bites to eat. And. But the most important thing is we enjoyed a great day out. Yeah, well, it was a good day out. I think it was just me, you and Ben for that one. So it was was a good good day out. So hopefully we can get revenge on them today for what they did to us. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Oh, I'll say 2-1 with them. And what's your score prediction, Paul? I was going to go the same, but I'll be even more confident in seeing as Callum's gone. I'll go 3-1 with them. I'm going to be... Positive as always in the previous pre-match thoughts. I'm going 2 0 Whitton Town. Thank you guys so much for your no time. Worries, James. And let's hope we get all three points like we did last week. Let's hope and so. Up Come the on, town. fingers crossed. Up, up the, the town. town. Up the town. Come on. Whitton are massive everywhere we go. Whitton are massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, one, two, three, four. We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're term a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're term a massive. Come on, we're term. 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 We love you, we turn, we do. We love you, we turn, we do. We love you, we turn, we do. Oh, we turn, we love you. We turn a massive everywhere we go. We turn a massive everywhere we go. 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 Everywhere we go
everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We're Terma Massive everywhere we go. We're Terma Massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. We're Terma Massive. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We're to my massive, everywhere we go. We're to my a massive everywhere we go everywhere we go We are the town. 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 Corner to Galston. Oh, clear. Well cleared. The noise. Winter Bobby. Offside. In the winter wonderland. There's only one James Big Well. There's only one James Big Well. Walking along, singing a song. Walking in the wonderland. There's only one. Corner to Galston. There's only one. La la la. Witham Town. Witham Town. Witham Town. No cheering. No cheering, just cheering for the place. One nil to Galston. We forgot that you were here. We forgot that you were here. One nil to Galston. We forgot. We forgot. the weeks of town. We are the wits of town. Oh, come on, go on, go on, go on, two. Oh, call it to us. Come on, come on, town. Come on. Oh, no one now. Hey to them. Fair play to them. Go on. Oh. As far as East Mid League count, they only count this as single cup. Go on, Vinci. in now come on Finn. 
Yes! 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 To the way, to the to one! To the way, to the to one! To the wheat of town. Yes! Yes, Ben! Yes, James, Get in there! On. Yes, Callum! Yeah. Get in there! Get in yes, there! Well. Get in there! Yes, Paul! Well, Get in well, there! Yes, yes Callum! Yes. Get in there! Two! One! Wheat of town! Get in there! Get in there, come on! One, to the wheat of town, two, one! 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 To the wheat of... There's only one Gabby Kimball! One Gabby Kimball! There's only one Gabby Kimball! One Gabby Kimball! There's only one Gabby Kimball! One Gary Kimball, there's only one Gary Quarterfinal of the cup, under the lights. We should win that. Go on, Liam! Go on, Liam! Go on, Liam! Good tackle. I am very surprised. The half time score Whitton Town 2, Galston 1. The first half we played absolutely superb and like we played outstanding. But I know it's a bit of a shaky start, and then Galston took the lead, and then we started to pick up a gear. We're a lot better, and like Paul and I and Callum and Leon said, like. We played absolutely superb and played some good football. And like, and if we keep like we did in the first half, and and same same again really. And like, and if it, if it stays like this, and we go above Galston, but let's hope it'll it will be the same again second half. Up the town, come on! Come on, boys! Come on, town! It's Pummelon. And again! Ah! Cookie! Ooh! Unlucky! Yeah, that one. You see him there, you see what. Go, Shaq! Oh, good turn! Corner! Yes! Yes! Come on, Sal! It's going to go right on the keeper's head. Right? Oh! Hey! Don't concede the penalty. Well covered. Corner to Galston, I think. Well clear. Clear. Two two. This is a new guy. Like He's the guy from Corby or something like that. 
It's an Ives, that's all. Oh! I thought I was in! Yes, Kingy! Yes, Wide. Keep going. Good. Good ball. Go on. Ah. Uh. How do you keep it in? Well played, Liam. Well played, Liam. Good. Well played. Uh, ah! Well played, Kingy. Well played, Kingy. Well played, Kingy. Oh, come on. <sighs> come on, take him on, go on.
Let's all have a disco! Let's all have a disco! Wait, so, yes, Leo! Yes! James! Well done, man! Yes! Well done! Well done! Yes! Come on! Well done! Yes, yes, Kenny! Get in! Get Come in! On! Yes, Gary! Oh, hello, yes! Yes! Woo! Yes! What a win! Well played! Yes! Get in there! Yes! The full time score, Whitton Town 3! Goals to 2! Whitton, Whitton, Bouncy Bus! Whitton, Bouncy Bus! Whitton, Whitton, Bouncy Bus! Let's all have a disco! 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 Oh, guys, what a great victory at the end! And I thought we were going to hold on to a draw, but then, like, all of a sudden, like, we scored a last minute winner, and like, um, the players are the absolutely superb at the end, oh. and two wins on the spin. That was, uh, we had to work <laughs> hard for that. That was, that was uh, a brilliant game <laughs> to watch. Both teams <laughs> played well, but yeah, I mean, the goal, their goalie, because you know, he wasn't great he <laughs> for all three goals, but no, yeah. take nothing away from the our performance was fantastic. So, super, and it was good to get another win. You know, it's two in a row, we need to. Now build that onto a Tuesday's game against Stanway and then get three in a row and try and build a good run because, yeah, we played superbly today. And yeah. So happy that we won. Yeah, definitely. 100% and we've got the next game to look forward to on Tuesday in the cup competition. And then um, Stanway Rovers away and then we've got Stone Market Town away next Saturday. Yeah. And then, like, two wins on the spin and what a win at the end. And that was amazing. What do you think? Yeah, go on, mate. You go. What I thought of this game, it we played great. Um, first half, we were okay. Second half, we <laughs> we scored or we we scored our two goals, which which I'm happy about, <sighs> or our one goal, which I'm happy about. But I was conceding that goal. Oh, that was. At it this, was... Currently, at this point of the season, we can't be conceding goals. Is is because we're on a goal difference of like. Like negative nine, negative ten, we can't be. And we're now in eleventh in the league now, like one point above Goulson now. We will have to be one. That now put us eleventh in the league and then um and we're moving into the right direction and we're up in the league. Goes, hi ho, hi ho, it's up the league we go. Da 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 hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, it's up the league we go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Hi ho! Hi ho! Oh, oh that was super. What do you make of it, Paul? Yeah, I think the lads did really well. Really good performance. I think we deserve to win that game, which is the most pleasing thing. Everyone put a really good performance in. Uh, Superb. I think that if we had, had taken some of our chances when we got in good positions, it could have been more comfortable. But I think we absolutely deserved it. And, Last minute winner makes it all the more exciting. Definitely, yeah. It was like, um, I thought, here we go again, we get a draw, and then like after that win last week, and then now we make two wins on the spin now. Yeah. And it was amazing. And, yeah, like, the... um, and we didn't stop celebrating after the final whistle. <laughs> the, players, the players dug in deep there. They, they've really put a good performance in today. So it was good that we could follow up from last week with another victory. And hopefully now Definitely, yeah. we can follow up with more victories because you know we want this to be the start of something special and hopefully we can well, 100%. finish the season on a high and yeah. try and finish as high as possible because you know yeah. the last few seasons obviously been down there down there fighting, you know. Yeah, a few the... seasons ago we had Romford scored 95th minute winner which kept up Bazardon as well. So it's nice to have a season where we finished a bit more comfortable Definitely, yeah. without having to look over our shoulders at the bottom yeah. of the table. 
Yeah. yeah, it was superb. And like, um, like over the last few scenes, we're in the relegation dogfight, but we're now getting a little higher in the table at the moment. But we've still got a long way to go in the second half of the season. But what a win at the end against Goulston. But like, after that dreadful away form away at Goulston early in the season, but we finally got the revenge on them. Yeah, really good performances as well. I think we absolutely deserve <laughs> credit to the manager and the players. That was superb. And a new front three as well, which looked yeah. really good. The new guy, Chris, looked very good when he yeah, came on. Yeah, he's very so. good. Like, Chris did superb like, when he like he came on in the second half and played some like superb football. And then, like, but it did hold the ball very well. But, like, he uh, it, it made some good through balls into the players and then uh, made some brilliant through balls. And then, like, um... But he did well when he came on. Yeah, he did. He did exceptionally well. Obviously, it's his, his debut. So, but he did. The whole team really did well. I don't think there was anyone there. Yeah. Everyone just put the work in. The yeah. effort. In. The effort was was top top draw. Top today. draw. Yeah. And I thought, like, you know, superb. It was a brilliant, brilliant game to watch. You know, we made Definitely. we made it hard work though with the conceding the two. We could have made it more comfortable, but if absolutely. We'd take, yeah. If we'd have taken all our chances, but ultimately we, we've. Uh, We've, we've become the victor in the game. Victory at the end, and like around about, I think it was the 93rd minute winner, I think it was, and then like... Doesn't matter um, how it's done, it's just that we got the victory. Yeah, I agree 100%, we got the victory, and then like, we got the three points again, and and then we move on to the next game on Tuesday, and especially next Saturday, away at Stone Market Town. Yeah, and it's just good character for the players as well because one of a sense shows how uh, keen they are to keep going and keep going because they yeah to keep going and going minute and they were still running they were still t putting chances in putting tackles in so uh, credit to the players there they ran and one of a sense so yeah uh, really well done and it just goes to show if you've got the ability and you're prepared to put the hard work in you get the results so well done boys yeah well done to the players and then they, they put in a really good shift in like the first half it was all over them in the first half like I know we had a shaky start in the first half and we've like we've been one nil down we took the second goals like two goals and that we were 2-1 up and like I thought we'd take it at half time and then yeah. went into a little dip and then we finally got a last last minute winner at the end yeah it was it was all fantastic to get the win but I think next week in Stone it's going to be a difficult game mm. We've seen they haven't got a win yet at all, so they know they're going to be out trying to 100%. trying to get a win against us. But yeah, we've just we, got to play like we did today, yeah, absolutely, yeah. and we can get the win because one hundred percent. We just we need to need to keep putting the effort in week in week out and keep the momentum going from the players. Yeah, so because like, next week is a game we should be looking at winning comfortably against Stone Market. They're bottom of the league, can't yeah. buy a win, so we should be going there thinking that we can put in a strong performance. One hundred percent. But obviously, we got Stanway before that. that Cup game, that's going to be tough. Yeah, because obviously they're the division below us. But you know, hopefully, we can give some other players a run out who wouldn't normally play in the league. Yeah, but I think it's two good wins on the spin. Let's just keep the momentum going. Exactly, and keep the momentum going and keep this up. And hopefully, good end to the season and mid-table finish would be a great achievement. It would be considering the last few seasons have been near the bottom. To finish mid-table would be would be good. Thank you guys so much for your time and up the town! Let's all have a disco! 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 Win soon! Bouncy bounce! Win soon! Win soon! Bouncy bounce! Win soon! Bouncy bounce! Win soon! Win soon! Bouncy bounce! Win soon! Bouncy bounce! Brilliant! Super! Get in there! I'm now with the Whitton Town player Liam and the other Whitton Town player Rowan. You right, James? How are you doing, mate? You alright? Good, thank you. What What is your thoughts on on the game against Galston? Well, to watch, it was quite scrappy. Um, first half, first half an hour, I think it was quite even, and then I think we proved our quality over them. Uh, we created a lot of chances, especially second half, but uh, we uh, just didn't take them. Mm. Uh, they scored two corners and then last minute popping up with a winner. There's no uh, better way to win a football game, I don't think. So, yeah, uh, decent three points. Yeah, it's a fantastic three points for Whitton Town and the Whitton Town supporters did absolutely outstanding throughout the whole 90 minutes as always, haven't they? Yeah, they always do. I mean, from the, the first whistle to the last whistle, they're, they're always loud, busy, on top. They keep us going throughout, and you got what you deserved more than us, really. Excellent. You got the 96th minute uh, celebration, so it's good. That was superb, and got the last minute celebration, and um, and two wins on two wins on the spin. Yeah, 
Yeah. Looks yeah, like keep going, yeah. I'm now with the Whitton Town fan, Alfie. Right, James. Good, thank you. What a what a fantastic win at the end. And like, we was like drawing 2-2 two, two in the 90th minute and then yeah. got a last minute winner. It was absolutely superb, isn't it? Yeah, I thought the, the boys gave 100% today. Dug in deep. Um, every time we scored, they'd get an equaliser. Uh, very good from set pieces, goals in a very tough team. Um, and we got the win at the end with a great goal. Fantastic win. And I must say, what a win. the support in the crowd today was electric. So, so, so loud. And it was uh, proper, the boys listening to that and dug in today and got the win. And it's, like I said earlier, teammate, it's consistency now. We had the last win against New Salamis. And normally we win and lose, win and lose. But we, we got another win today. And now we keep the ball, uh, ball rolling and we keep the streak going as well. 100% and it was it was a superb ending with a last minute winner and yep. and now two wins on the spin yep. one last Saturday away at New Salamis and now yep. we've got the second win at home against Galston yes mate exactly I think we go again on Tuesday I think we've got Stanway in the cup game so hopefully we just reach up on the side a bit give a bit of fresh legs out there and uh, we'll go again in the league next Saturday as well thank you so much for your time Alfie and up the town up the town up the town so here you go. <laughs> what a fantastic win for Whitman Town at the end. It was it was a huge relief and like um we was drawing in the 90th minute and then and then in the very last kick of the game we got the winner against Galston and what a win for Whitman Town and two wins on the spin for Whitman Town as well. After that fantastic performance away at New Salamis last week. And now a superb win at home against Galston. And it was superb from the Whitton Town players. But the first half, it was a really shaky start. And we was 1-0 down. And then we managed to pick up a gear. And then grabbed the equaliser. And then got the winning goal of 2-1 at half time. And we took the lead at half time. And I thought we was going to like get some more goals in the second half, but the first half, uh, the second half, sorry, the second half, it was like really nerve wracking. And then like conceded the second goal. It was a very nerve wracking second half, but but we did play really well against Galston in the second half, and we we played really well, and um, and then we all thought, here we go. We get a draw again, and then all of a sudden, in the very last kick of the game, we score the last minute winner, and I think it was Kingy, I think, Freddie King, I think it was, that scored the last kick of the game with the winning goal for Whitton Town. But anyway, the, who cares, we got the win, the most, the most important thing, we got a fantastic victory, and, and we take it into the next game, and in the remaining matches this season, and we, as Whitton Town supporters, backed our manager, Gary Kimball, 1,000%. And he loves our Whitton Town supporters always. And the players have really put in a fantastic shift in. And I am really, really proud for the boys to get a last-minute win for Whitton Town. And, and we now climbed up to 11th in the league above Galston. And we was 12th earlier on in the league, but now after that win, we're now into 11th in the league. And hi ho, hi ho, it's up the league we go. Da 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 da. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, it's up the league we go. Da 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 da. Hi ho, hi ho. Oh, that was superb, and um, I couldn't be more happy. Um, it it made me the happiest man with that fantastic victory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was superb, and like two wins on the spin, and it was like superb. And the players did absolutely superb throughout the whole ninety minutes, especially, and we kept the support going getting behind the Whitton Town players and the staff, and especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. And that win is especially 
for Gary Kimball, our Whitton Town manager, because we know that Gary loves our club to bits, and that win is especially for Gary Kimball, for our manager, Whitton Town. And, but we as a whole, we were superb, including our supporters of Whitton Town. The supporters were outstanding throughout the whole 90 minutes, and the players did superb, and I am proud for every single one of them. I am so proud. The supporters, the players and the staff, we were all superb throughout the whole 90 minutes. We, we kept it going, we never gave up, and we got the last minute win. Get in there. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, what a win. And, and there's gonna be quite a celebration along through the weekend. And roll on to the next game. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Stanway Rovers on Tuesday, the 27th of February. Get in there!